Good morning, welcome to the Living History School. Today is November 16th, uh, 2011. It's day two of the beaver trapping uh, exercise, I guess. Um, and uh, we're gonna check the traps, but the river has rose up, uh, it's risen and uh, it's flooded my boots. Okay, so this is day two of the beaver set. So it looks like my, the water came up, came up quite a bit actually. So my trap, um, I can see it under the water there and it's been sprung, um, but no beaver. It's like in the same spot, but it got sprung. So um, looks like he might have hit it, but then the water was came up uh, probably two feet or more over the evening. So it looks like no luck on the beaver and the creek's pretty high. My, I wore these boots yesterday and today they filled with water getting out here so it looks like I have to switch to <laughs> some full waders or something to get out here. So um, no, no beaver and trap was sprung so it looks maybe like probably just educated a beaver now he's not even going to come over to it now so um, I'm going to decide if I'm going to move it or just reset it. Okay so I just went ahead and reset it. I moved it um, in not such a in, in shallower water and then you can see see the the pan underneath the water the circular part and then and then I got there's the beaver lure if you look really close there's a piece of hair on there there's a little piece of, little hair on there I don't know if that's from the beaver or what so maybe rubbing up against it and some of the <coughs> lure was down below the trap so it obviously came something came up and rubbed on it or smelled it so okay so I think we're gonna also set I brought a that's number three uh, Victor trap, and I'm going to go down here and just a little ways and set set that for a, a muskrat. I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of grass and kind of a grassy dam. I believe there's a muskrat in here too, so I'm going to try try that. So we're going to go do that now. So I'm going to fill this bag up. Rocks. Rocks. One. Okay, there's the bag with the wire. So now I'm going to toss that in. So all your traps have to have your, your tag number. So I made these little ta tags with the number and I attached the trap. So I thought, on this trap, I thought I had a number three with me, but I actually only have a number two. So this is going to be try for muskrat. Hopefully, well, I don't know if I'll catch a beaver in or not, but probably not. So I'm going to bait this with, with some carrots, I think. And I think I might even throw a uh, little bit of caster up on the side of the side of the uh, willow here too just for who knows maybe a beaver will come too. I don't know if you can do both at one trap or not will that confuse them or but I assume if there's a muskrat on maybe it'll like the carrots and it could be with maybe the caster or so let's we'll see what happens. So I got the slide going out. With the, with the sea out there in the water that's a bag with the rocks going back. So we'll try it out. So now I'll set it. Okay so there's a trap I put uh, sticks around I threw some carrots, sliced carrots in there, maybe for the rescue. I did put a little caster right on this stick right there. So I don't know if that's going to send mixed signals, if the muskrat won't go around where the beaver is, or what the, what'll happen, but we'll see. So there's some carrot on there, and then I put all these sticks to, around it to lure, to direct them towards the trap. And it's only under about an inch of water. So, um... Okay, we'll check back tomorrow, and tomorrow I'll wear my my uh, waders to get out here. Hopefully it won't rain too much more, and it'll be submerged all my traps under a lot of water. So thanks for watching, and, and see you tomorrow.